what is your favorite Pokemon type? Um, this uh, series of questions that uh, <clears throat> ominous acid had for me. Uh, when I recorded it the first time, I didn't. I misunderstood the question. Favorite Pokemon type, not Pokemon. Period. Um, can I answer this with some underappreciations? Uh, for lack of a gem, I'm going to say number one favorite type, dark. I know Japan calls it the evil type, Aku. Not like the legal super evil. Walter, Doctor Frog. <laughs> no, it's the, it kind of reminds me of that. Yeah, the League of Super Evil. L O S E. <laughs> um, there are some secondary types that I like pretty well. Um, this is for lack of a League type theme. Normal, flying, grass, and electric. Next question. Next question. Well, well. What is your favorite region? Now, to answer this question properly, I have to name all the regions see there's Kanto, Johto, Hoenn, or Sinnoh, Unova, and Kalos, Kalosi. Well, amongst all those, I'm gonna have to go with, uh, Or. I found it the most interesting region of all, and you know, Johto gave me a chance to explore Kano all over again. Or, um, totally took it in a completely new and different direction. And the Or region essentially still stands as a viable Pokemon region today. So, yeah, Or. O-R-R-E, yeah. As in Pokemon Coliseum and Pokemon Gale of XT Gale of Darkness, yes. Or as they call it in Japan, Dark Lugia. Next question. Which Pokemon games do you own? Alright. We're gonna start uh, from the ones that are still saving effectively. Um, and just name them off. Um, Pokemon Ruby, Sapphire, Pokemon Coliseum. This includes the systems to play them on. Um, and the memory cards. Uh, Fire Red, Leaf Green, I'm thinking XD, Gale of Darkness, and Emerald. And then, Diamond, Pearl, Platinum, Heart Gold, Soul Silver, uh, those, um, uh, Pokey Walkers things, is, yeah, that came with those games. At least, I think I got about three of them. That might still work. Black, White, Black 2, White 2. Um, XY, Mega Ruby, Alpha Sapphire. Um, I believe I need all of those. One thing I don't own is the Jirachi pre-sale game disc. It supposedly came with early editions of Pokemon Coliseum. Yeah, I don't have that. I also don't have Pokemon Ranger. And I'm also not failing to own many of the... Nearly all the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon games. Uh, only a few of those do I have. I don't know which ones they are and which ones they aren't. Next question. In the games. Which gender do you normally play as? It actually depends on how I'm feeling at the time. Uh, but I think, uh, I think some of the guys can agree that it's fun to play as a girl. And some of the ladies probably have fun playing as the boy. Yeah, I often, I often like playing as the gender that I'm not. You know, just to get, like, the feel of it. And, yeah, that's a thing. Next question. Uh, do you watch the anime? What do you like, dislike about it? Well, it's gonna take a little explaining here. Um, I watched the anime past tense. Uh, the reason I haven't been watching it recently is I don't have a subscription to the Cartoon Network. The only Pokemons on Netflix that they've got are movies and Indigo League and the, um, Pokemon Black and White. And that's all they've got there. Uh, Pokemon TV, I've watched it all the way up to the end of the Unova region episodes. So, the, the, Kanto, the Kalos region episodes are not available to me at this time. That's why I'm not watching it lately. Um, what do I like, dislike about it? Um, you know, I think it's funny that James caught a cold in, in the Hoenn episodes. I think it was Pokemon Advanced uh, Battle, I think. Pokemon Advanced Battle. And he's had that cold ever since. He still hasn't gotten rid of that cold. <laughs> Whenever I make the voice for James, that's how I do it. I hold my nose and talk. 
but what do I not? Well, um, what I don't like is that it's become less comedic. The comedy seems to be slipping. I think this is a mistake to take away the comedy from the series. The, the comedy is what made that what it was. And without the comedy, it's just not... It doesn't have quite that appeal. I think it should be playful. I think it should be adorable. I, I think it should play on the cuteness level. And I think any violence that's in the series should be comic violence and not, and not so much gratuitous or anything like that. People shouldn't be getting, like, seriously hurt, seriously wounded. Um, you know, Pokemon get knocked out if we brought me the Pokemon Center. And, uh, yeah, they should be, um, have funnier things happening to them. You know, just like they did before, but, um, yeah, I, I don't like it losing the comedy up, uh, and I, I don't like it getting scarier. I, I don't think Pokemon are supposed to be scary. Um, lose the scariness aspect to it, bring back the comedic element, and basically make it adorable. Yeah, next question. Share your first wild shiny experience. How did it go? I'm assuming you're not talking about the Red Gyarados. Same game, Pokemon Silver. I was surfing along the route just south of Goldenrod City. <laughs> I encountered a shiny tentacool. I don't think I had any balls, so I couldn't catch the thing. It was run away or KO it. I was devastated. Yikes. That was sad. Next question. If the Pokemon world would be real, what would you want to achieve to be? Well, um, if, if they're asking what I think they're asking, I'm gonna say, um, my civil rights battle would not change. I would consider Pokemon to be my fellow life forms. They would not be less than I, and I would not be less than them. To push for equality for all, including Pokemon. That's my answer. Next question. Why do you love Pokemon games so much? Did anything change with respect to the past? Well, why do I love Pokemon games? Well, it's the durability of the creatures in question. The fact that battles are like this person used the leak slap, this person used tackle, I mean this Pokemon used tackle, this Pokemon used leak slap. This Pokemon used leer and, and all kinds of adorable kinds of moves. It's like, it's not like this person used the uh, AK-47, didn't, nothing like that. It's like, got that adorable factor in there. And I like that, I like the cuteness factor. Did anything change with respect to the past? Um, I'm a big equality kind of person, and the fact that we have no dark gem makes me rather sympathetic to the dark type, even though Japan uses the word Aku, apparently meaning evil. Evil. You know, like the League of Super Evil. <laughs> Can't take that seriously. No, I'm sorry, but... Um, I've become a greater champion of civil rights since that time, and, um, you know, that's not going to change with Pokemon. Um, I'll always champion civil rights, regardless of what I'm doing. So, there. Next question. Do you collect the cards? Uh, well, I'm going to have to go with, uh, Ominous Acid's answer to that with they're expensive, uh, the, the, the money factor. I get in like a money bind, a money crunch, and I... I can't buy the cards like I used to. But I've, I've, if, if I could trade, I've probably got enough cards to trade for nearly every kind of Pokemon card that they got. Maybe. Maybe. Next question. If you have the trading cards, do you play the game or just collect? Um... Back when I had friends that I knew I could uh, play the game with, I did once play the game. But, um, now it's just collect. That's it. Uh, that's what it's been for some time. 
Um, but if I need a friend again who wants to play and I've got the cards, I, I'll do it. Next question. Do you draw Pokemon? If so, share some things. Actually, I I have. And after this uh, segment, put in some drawings of Pokemon, as well as some draw plus acting scenes, in which I tried to speak for some Pokemon. After that, next question. Meow. Sylveon, that's right! Inkay! What is your favorite Pokemon? Come here. Come on. Here it is. Meowth! Favorite Pokemon since Gen 1. Um. Yeah. And he, it's been my favorite Pokemon ever since. Including today. Next question. What are your favorite two Pokemon designs? Whew. <laughs> I'm not sure I actually understand the question, but I thought about it. I had to for some time. And what I'm going to say... I can't even think of the name of the city. Um, I think uh, Gadion Port in Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness. Yeah, Gadion Port's layout. I thought that looked really, really cool. I was breathtaking. As well as the layout for a gate, a gate, whatever it is, village. Yeah, the one in, in Pokemon Coliseum and Gale of Darkness, like in the northwest. Yeah. That's what I'm going to say for the answer. Um, next question. <laughs> 